I want to hear from you um, individually how you all started in music. What inspired you to start playing music? And is it that you started out in playing the, the mental genre or, you know, or you were also exposed to other genres? I want to hear that from you tonight. Let's start with Andre. Andre is at the top of my screen. All right, Andre. <laughs> yes, man. All right, the shyest man. Well. All right, so. Oh, oh Mr. start playing music now. Well, growing up, father, musician, brother, musician. I'm never interested in the music. I was a sportsman. Check and feel. So check and feel. So about 2014, 2015, I tried getting into NVP chapter when I get turned on. So I go home, go ball, and I say to my father, I'm a ball, I'm a discourage, I'm a give up. My father just threw a four string bass give me and says, hey man, go and go practice it. And going around charcoal, charcoal, kush keys, and bass kid, right? Wow, that's, that's good me. company, man. Along, charcoal and those guys. <laughs> along, along with my father, always I encourage me and I always tell him, mm. do it, see it, do it. But when, when bass kid, right, at, I have to leave, I have to fly out, and Chaco, I have to fly out. And there was no basic for the doppy band, so the owner for the doppy band said to me, say, I have to go turn the bass, you know, you know. So Berlin tell me that now I start to take it more serious and I start locking and peer practice. And that's how music start. And yeah, I start off in a, in a mentor. Mm -hmm. So which other genres do you play? I start off in a revival, Nine Night. Right, Reggae. Do you, do you play yet? Reggae, gospel. I'm going to take time to learn other journals, but I wouldn't say I'm play them yet. All right. Awesome, awesome. All right, bro. Um, Let's hear from Davian. How me start playing music? All right. My brother was a drummer. And every Sunday, I used to go to church just to go watch my brother play drum. So him, him, them time they have a mentor when he come on to jump. Cause I jump first, me start play. So he sometimes he was a pray for Landry to church late. So me could have just go and start. So one one Sunday he never come to church and man, I say yes, time for me shine now. I'm gonna go play the jump. I could do nothing. Uh, but there and then me, me me go and watch him and watch him until me get me get the scabbed. And we found that I'll praise and worship as Kaby, me and play until he make a slow down and continue my way. Then there was this bands we did farm up over, over across here from my yard. And my cousin band. And there, there you now my cousin father started teaching me two, two things on the bass guitar. And a bass really the, the whole music start for me. Until we start go out um, with God in the yard. Now, I'm only two genres I play revival and um, gospel reggae. Mm -hmm. I really, me really specialize in my eyes. I guess my, my passion. Right. So, I did it, so the music start for me. Right. Bless up. Bless up yourself, Davian. All right. Um, let's go to O'Shea, O'Shea Gale. Oshane, you, you are a regular on um, the Music Hacks Network. You have probably about three videos already. Okay, where I really get started in music is back in my hometown in Clarendon, where, where this guy have a band. So they, nobody on the band never wanted me to play on it. But I was interested in the drums. So, so sometime in a hide and care, I'm going to nine night, which nine night is a good thing. That's where I grow up. And trust me, when I go nine night, you learn all different genres of song. Not just mentors I can play alone play at nine night, which Andre know that, Davia know that. We play all different type of genres. You understand? And what really inspired me in the music is when I went to Spalding Night. That's when my music teacher attended there. And I never want to play no bass guitar. He was the one who forced me to. Well, that's it was a force. And yeah, and it, it turned out to be one of <laughs> my best instruments. I like keyboard and drum, but I have a love and a deep passion for bass guitar. 
So my whole interest and my whole motivational moment was in high school. That's where um, my music teacher really inspired me and a lot of stuff returning to the music in, in high school. And I'm going to ask you guys just to tell us about your, your, your pieces. How did you approach um, that mentor song that you were asked to play on that video? All right. Tell us. Just show us how you, you, you um, put everything together to sort of get what we are hearing now on YouTube. All right. Let's stay at Davian. I see Andrew <laughs> thinking about, about right. his, his response. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. No, my response is okay. All right. Me, me feel out the song. Me run a couple bass lines for the song. When me run a couple bass lines, me say, no, sir. Then my bass line, I don't fit the song. So I say, all right, I have to come up with something. So I combine two bass lines, I normally play. I make it in a one. Mm-hmm. So I saw me come up with that, with that the bass groove. Hey, Rumba, no, I have to come up with that. Rumba just come naturally. Rumba, I'm a finger him. So, Rumba just pure. Mm. But the bass line, the bass line, I put two of my, 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 my original bass line, I normally use, and I combine the two of them. I so come, come up with the, with, the, with the bass line because I make, I make that. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so I saw me come up with my, my bass line, my little groove. Yeah, man. And I, I realized your video was um, a lot more groovy um, in terms of keeping a, a steady bass line. I think you and, um, you and Andre had the same concept. Um, O'Shane has his own feel and then uh, Michael had his with his authentic runs and lines and stuff like that. Pure greatness. All right. Um, so let's hear from Andre at this time. How did you put that great well, for um, me- performance together? We sit down we about two hours and play about 10 different bass lines for this one. Finally, come with one and say, All right, this is all I use. But the day when I go to the studio and, and do the first and do that, I never like it. So I just say, Give me an extra. And then that just, the one that just happened. Mm. I said, This may work with. So I right. never, never sit down and plan. Well, I sit down and plan, but when I sit down and plan, I never work out. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised when I see a lady and video come here and say, Look like a boy, I, 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 I think like me. Uh, to where you were close. Yeah, I think like me, brother. <laughs> but, um, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Yo, no well, close I, around here. Yeah, I realize that both of you had similar concepts. All right, but all right. So let's get to the, the man who calls himself the, the Rumba the King. I saw the groove work. Saw... Yes, Andre, yes. All right, O'Shea, how did you put it, all of that together? Okay, all right. When okay, when you send me the song, um, B.A., <laughs> first thing I do, I listen to the song. <laughs> I, I, I listen to the original bass line. So okay, all right. Then I realize it's three, it's it's three different songs. It's kind of medley. So I say, all right, I'm I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna create three. Three bass line for the three different song in the in, in, different songs. So the first one, I co- as Andre said, he, he chose a lot of bass line. I chose many, and then the one that was compatible with the song, that's the one I chose. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna add my rumba techniques to it. So that's it because when you listen to a mentor song, there is so many ideas that you can. So many simple bass lines you can play, but just kind of match the song, but you just want to find one that is more compatible with it. Mm-hmm. That's what I did. All right, guys. Bless up. Real good, real good. Yeah, man. So, yeah, the, the, the bass player, the, um, uh, Davian, you may come across him on YouTube a couple of times. You know, and me, me, me really like the, me really like the way he play the, um, the, the, the mental music still, you know. Coming out of that, coming out of that type of journey from back in the days, from RB days, mm-hmm. you know, I really like how him 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 wall is still. So I give the youth and props and o- O'Shea and the other guy, I'm not so familiar with the other guy, but O'Shea and and Davian, you know, no respect to you guys. You know, you guys 
I know some people be taller than honest. Still, not going good as a young youth. Really respect with man. Great that. Yeah, man. Bless him. Okay, so all right. So my question. All right. So let me just ask a question then. So um, I will put that question. In, uh, all of you guys. The, the, the one question go for all of you guys. Um, how easy it is for you guys to come up with a with with a baseline for one of those um songs, mentor revival, whatever you want they, they want to call it. Some people call it revival. Some people call it mentor. Or you guys. You know how easy it is for you guys to come up, you know, with a baseline, a really compatible baseline. We go with, you know, whatever song. All right, for me, it's very, it's kind of simple to me because me, my, my love, my love, my love setup. I set my mate with me and put all of my interest in. All right. I'm mean, normally create baseline depending on the vibes of me, of me under. So for me, BS line just come up in a bit naturally. And then certain time when 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 we want to feel, feel for a different BS line, we normally combine BS line. So like me, me normally goes you now, boom. So for instance, me have a, me have a starting for this one. Sometimes me either put the starting at the end uh-huh. and then the next BS line uh, affiliate the front. So the end then you create a BS line. Okay. So at that I'm a little. So it kinda come natural to me. Because I just normally do it. I mean sometimes you listen to my look reggae. Like when Angela Marley's teach me, I say, yo, you can get, you can learn reggae baseline and improvise it in a revival. In a revival. So I normally do that too. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, sir. For me, you know, baseline and a whole. Easy for me. If me listen a song, if me decides me listen a song and the words me listen to by me reach five seconds and song, me no me no hear no words. That's straight baseline. When me there once, if I hear the same, I say once the cash is there, we do not care. Once the vibes is there, we do not care. We build baseline anywhere. Yes, sir. So sometimes me there on the road, I hear something. Me start singing and me hear sometimes record it on my phone. I just you know forget it. So me go home, me can go, go work it out. So that's how I make bass line. And mm-hmm. the drummer, when, when the drummer play right, you get lines like crazy. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to pick up um, where, where um, Andre left off about the drumming. You see, all right, Jeremy and why, why the drummer play in mental music? You see, you see the drummer? The drummer play a very important role in terms of groove because, trust me, if the drummer not grooving properly when it comes into to revival, because mental music is a very steady music, you know. Very. If the drummer not groove to a particular and a particular timing at how you don't want it, it can confuse you as a bass player because you will try to find a groove depends on where the drummer play. The kick might not match the bass line or match the groove. But you say you cannot choose a one million groove and it just don't match. So once the, group, the, the drummer keep the timing, trust me, some frequent bass line that just come in your head. It can be very simple. It can be one and five. That's one and five. It can be one and two. It can just be straight one, straight octaves. So it depends on you and the drummer and the keyboard is as well. So if keyboard is a worldly shop, look at normally keys are a shop, but the drummer, you have some drummer, they will just keep rolling and play a bug of fun dingles. And it just it's just a compatible. So once the drummer a group, if you keep your mind free. So, so a lot of groove just keep flowing in your mind. So with me, once the drummer groove me, I'm good. Bigger line just, just keep flowing. Wally, all ideas, different. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Give thanks, Biggie. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. All right. Let's let's take TJ Keys. This is the interesting part. How does the mood of the place are? energy from the people or the energy basically all the aspects around it all the factors the people the music the singer the floor as you know so on our basis the drummer how everything affects the vibe on a certain night how does it affect you compared to like one of your worst one of the worst energy you can feel compared to the night compared to one night you get some real good energy what is the difference between a play you would say all right. All right. For me, the only bad night me have only if you can box and go up somewhere. 
That's only bad, <laughs> bad, bad night. <laughs> the normal yeah, bad night, like, uh, we, we feed off our own energy. All if nobody not there, they had, we play at our best. Me have vibes, man. Um, me, me just come down with vibes. Uh, everybody pan the band, pan the band. Yeah, we know. Everybody just have a vibe. If you, if, you, if you watch we, where do you have it? You, you can't see for yourself. Yeah, crowd man. or without crowd, we are push it. So more time a crowd feed off a full vibe. So, as we say, me don't really have a bad night, only bad night. We have, I will not care about so go so far, please. <laughs> and that's the worst part of the day night. I don't have to talk about the video. No, the video was. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man. we always have a jolly time. We can't, yeah. we can't, we can't, we can't, no, 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 dead vibes moment. Because we always pull through. Yeah, man. We respect that, man. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Just shared with Davians about vibes, I you know. Me learn to build my own vibes. So I went to place dead. You know, if you build one, my own vibes, maybe we go wine for one tree, maybe we climb one tree, maybe we do anything just to build the vibes. <laughs> so, <I know. laughs> I mean, I mean, I flap, so I have to build the vibes anywhere we go. Um, you respect that man. I mean, I said, I video, you want to dance 20 years in the air, I said, I know. You respect right. that man. All right, let's bring in Juna Peart, the multi-talented Juna Peart. The people that you guys play with on your band, right? Um, how do you go about choosing them? Because as a Davian of Marlon, I'm also Marlon, I say I play for you, right? How do you go yeah. about choosing the musician? Then? All right. Like, what, what, what characteristic make you decide to say, all right, I'm the brother you want to play for you? Well, I'm not... You tell the truth, master, and I choose to choose him. He just, the man just go get a strength one night, and he not left back off a band. Same thing with Bramo. So, I don't me me think I, I got to choose him, master. I got, everybody just fit in. I mean, I tell you, for, for the band, I go out three years or four years. We never, no man never follow us in one time. And I saw me, I saw me want to go until we did. <laughs> you did your son call me, we play for you, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but what are some of the things, you know, uh, 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 one of your band members, you know, play fi, fi, so that you can be able to make you tap into your personal mood because. You know, we can all play, we can we can just a freestyle, just like what she and Gale. You know, no man can freestyle. So you know him just build a mood pick and fast. You know, but you know, not just building just a mood, but tap into your personal, you know, mood and build something that is, you know, above and beyond. You know, what are some of the things, you know, a, a, a other musicians play? Be able to make you tap into that mood. All right, for me, you see, anywhere I start to play, and me normally me have a vibe with gospel reggae, skip reggae, but you see, once you touch a revival, and then I start shuffle like a keyboard, I'm all on the start play and, and I will up to go. Find them, just a go on, man. You know, oh, Lord, me just go. I mean, I want to be there all up and down in a 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 it doesn't make sense. You can never go find that. Because you, all right, we are man and I'm Bramo. 
the Karis band. Very good. If you, you can't just know when Marla has changed the, the mental groove to a different one. You feel it. Yeah. Yeah, man, because you feel it in your foot movement, the Hyatt and the snare. Because Marlon is Mar, Mar, talented as everybody. You see me? So for me, once you manage your style, what a good brother. And if I if I shout, you just start, hey, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's God, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. So that, that's a for me. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, that's your right. secret. Yeah. All right. See, for me, it's, it's for me, you know, you see, I don't know if all of them, well, everybody's supposed to watch Olympics the other day and see the girls and run in the four by one, really. See, yeah. You see, after... Everybody do them for them part, and it was now Sherika Jackson time now for finish the race. That is me you now. You see, once everybody are doing what they're supposed to do, it's just my time you now. We say, all right, we are going to use what, what they do. We are take this and turn it into this. So, whatever they do, we make sure we go up front, up with the people, them, like me, a singer. We react with the people, <laughs> them, we interact with them and everything. So once me up there and start play, and I'm, I'm not normal. Sometimes yeah, the woman they make a, a circle around me. So that's all me do it. Me not, me not, and the next the next thing again. Discipline of you now. Because if we can't if we can't look around to each other, I'm say. No rolling, and he can't listen to me. No make no sense. I've in a discipline. If you want the music to type, all the way to say, do that, do that, do that. And Marlon again as a drummer, feel me, my girl is having Marlon. All I want to shout out to me and say, play that. And for him to play that, me know, say, me know where I'm going, where I want. So me just start playing, and then the music, the music just change. So it, it come, it all, you have discipline too. So you come back down yeah. to all discipline. Mm-hmm. All right, playing with a with a keyboard is on a drummer. Trust me, and Jay Wright because and Davian Wright also because you can't play with a with a team. You can't say to the keys, bro, just stop the whole heap of phrasing and then and just just play the keyboard, just shuffle it and make it steady. Drummer, you are roll too much, bro. You not keep the clear pattern. You not kick the top, the, 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 the foot drum and timing. So it's all come down to to, to just yeah. this. So while everybody a groove and everybody depend one one time in one point. One accord. Yeah, you can you can't do any elements. Cause trust me, once with for me, once the keys are shuffle and the drummer whole the groove, Marlon can hold the groove. Create him as a drummer. Groove him can groove. Trust me, and we hold it. But when him for rolling, we roll. Don't get it wrong. But <laughs> when the keys are shuffle, I'm gone in my elements, man. Yeah, that's it. Everybody in us know how set up life go. You know, so if you're going to set up, and especially the drummer, even go pressure the BSC and the keys, especially the drummer, set up is a life like this way. 90% of the time, this thing that they want to sing fast. They want the mentor to move fast. Most people know urge that mentor, no, saying that, you know, that quick. It's a, it's a slower, it's a slower, groovy type of music. And I said, I'm going to hear people speed up into it. Why? It is. For the man, them way, as I say, you know, talk about the discipline and the music and, you know, not overdoing the music and all that. When the crowd start push the music to a level where if the drum and I roll, the crowd start cuss. If it's not play fast, Singer star cost. How do deal with them something? Yeah. All right. For me, for me, all right, I like the point there. So, all right, for me, I've been a nine night for years. So, it's like I study the craft for nine night. So, like, I know it. So, working with a singer now or a vocalist. We work with the vocalist, you know, which and the vocalist work with we. So the vocalist, we say, all right, step it up. But based on the reaction of the crowd, you know, the vocalist can, can choose a song. 
But that song, it can't play slow. If you play it slow, we Andre know this too. If you play it slow, it will kill the vibe of the 9 9. You, you, you cannot watch the crowd and watch the reaction, you know. Even though you have your own energy, but the singer, we want to show the song and him say, all right, step it up. So you step it up. And as I said, still, you know, for real, the crowd can pressure you in a certain way because the crowd, some, some part of the party, we want rolling for the jump, which we as a musician, we can manage rolling because our groove won't groove. But sometimes you can't just listen to the crowd alone. Sometimes you want to enjoy yourself too, even though you please the crowd. But there are times where you just work with the crowd and just do as you say because at them you are really entertain. You understand? So you work with this thing and this thing and work with you. Whatever this thing I want, you play according to the thing I want. You understand? And I just see that right here. That's a lot of my opinion. And for me, you know, it's for me, you know. If the people don't want the rolling, as long as the drummer can roll and come back in at the right time, and you right. show off the, the shuffle, you know, show off the shuffle like keyboard, you show off the bass line, roll the hell out of the drum. Because guess what? When we go at night night, we not go for please yourself. Mm -hmm. As much as we are please yourself, we go for please the people then. Because we don't want them stone when money come, we don't want them tell us that we not get no money, now we not get no pay. So we, we are please <laughs> them. Serious thing. We know Dave on the mix, you know. You know, mix, you know, 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 you how beneficial it is for you to to earn from playing in the the the, the revival um arena and that will be our final question right. i want i want you guys to address that show show jamaica and tell jamaica David and Lou how beneficial it is Dave and give me the hands up how oh, beneficial all right it is very beneficial when your band is in demand. All right. You know, for you, for you have a brand and you become wanted by many people, wanted in a good way, it, it really comes beneficial. You, you, you actually start getting what you really would want to get. Because when you're in high demand, people will go above and beyond just to have your presence. Mm -hmm. So for me, they are very beneficial. And, and it, uh, yo, if you tell her, they are better than supermarket work, all of them look at mini farm work. Because, yes, yes, the issue, all of them there. You see me? One night the player singing, you get, well, me know all oh, other musicians, but we pay for musicians very good. Mm. The pay is good. So, yeah. 